Number 41. The only way to achieve high data rates with a narrow band channel is to increase the number of bits per symbol. The most reliable way to do this is to use a combination of amplitude and phase modulation known as Ngayon, medyo mahaba yung, yung litanya niya. No? Sa board exam ngayon, uso kasi yan eh. Mahaba yung tanong. Pero ang tinatanong lang naman talaga ay ano raw yung tawag doon sa combination ng amplitude and phase modulation. And basically, that is, we all know that, that is the QAM, the Quadrature Amplitude Modulation, or that's letter A. Okay? Next, number 42. To increase the transmission distance of a UHF signal, which of the following should be done? Para daw humaba yung distance niya. Uh, para humaba yung distance. From the transmitter, UHF, so that will be line of sight. Okay? Uh, para humaba yung distance niya, ano ang kailangan nating gawin? Sabi natin sa pag-compute ng distance, that is square root of say 2HT plus square root of 2HR. Tama? Ano nga ulit yung HT tsaka HR? Those are the heights. Pero pag ang factor na ginamit mo ay 2, this will be in feet. This will be in feet. And the distance will be in miles. Tama? So yung distance mo para humaba, anong kailangan mong gawin? Dapat yung transmitter or receiver height mo tumaas. So the answer for this question is letter B, increase the antenna height. Okay, number 42. Number 43, this OSI layer is responsible for network availability, data storage, and processor capacity. It also determines the type of dialogue available. So when we're talking about dialogue and network availability, or even log on, log off, username, password, we're talking about of which layer? That will be the session layer. So letter A is the correct answer. Ang network layer kasi ginagamit ito sa routing. Data layer, wala namang data layer. Maybe this is data link layer. Data link layer is for addressing also. Maraming trabaho ang data link layer. Uh, one of them is the physical addressing or the MAC address. Transport layer is the segmentation. And then dyan din yung TCP and UDP. But for network availability and dialogue and network log-on, log-off, that will be the session layer, letter A for number 43. Number 44, short-circuited stubs are preferred to open-circuited stub because the latter, when you say latter, yung huli, Ito yung tinutukoy niya, the open-circuited stub are preferred than the short-circuited stubs. Why is that? That is because ang mga, mga baliktad yata yung sinabi ko, na, the, the short-circuited stubs are preferred to open-circuited stubs. Meaning, mas gusto natin yung short-circuited stub kaysa sa open-circuited stub. Bakit? Kasi daw yung open circuited stub ay ano, they are liable to radiate, letter C. So pag nag pa yan, magko-contribute mag pa yan ng loss no, doon sa, sa binabalance natin. Okay? Kasi gumagamit tayo ng stub para ma-eliminate natin yung reactive component ng load sa transmission line. Eh ngayon, nag, nag, nagbabalance na nga tayo, nag-eliminate tayo ng reactance, but it will introduce loss. So, we usually use the short-circuited stub than the open-circuited stub. So, letter C is the correct answer. Next, number 45, it means that two or more bits in a data unit have changed. Take note, two or more bits have changed. Hindi naman pwedeng double bit dahil more. So, burst error ang tawag dyan. Letter C. Number 46. 